project, <laughs> quite honestly. I'm actually seriously considering um, taking it out and putting something else in that starts with K. Okay, I've decided I am going to take out the Krylon concealer wheel because it's just really not something that I reach for very often. Um, and it's more frustrating than anything else. I'm going to put in this lip liner from LA Colors. This is an auto lip liner pencil. This is in pinky. It's got a gay on it. Um, come on, focus. Oh, where's his name? <laughs> right there. Um, it is a like a mauvey kind of pink. Um, the other lip liners that I've been using are um, both red, so um, but this one has a lot in it. I am just going to very carefully So I've marked that now. Um, yeah, so I've brought that in instead of using um, the Cryolon. Uh, the next thing for L was the lip prep from the runway room. I'm filming. Can you not yell, please? using this um, every time I do my makeup and I've been using it a bit more because I finished off my lip balm yeah that's another video um, I don't know that that's actually where I am that's just where that bottom mark is that's where it will like <laughs> there's like a big balloon air bubble in it so um, yeah I have been using it quite a bit um, it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere which, you know, seems par for the course, really, with most of these things. I'm really sorry if you can hear um, that noise in the background. That is the printer. Um, the thing that I have used up or is, is going out now is the More Brows from Model Co. It doesn't seem to be doing anything anymore. And when I pull it out and swipe it on the back of my hand, there's like almost nothing coming off. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. And I'm sort of like digging around on the side. And, you know, there's still stuff in that. It's just not transferring from the brush onto my eyebrows. So I'm done with that. I, I, I have too much stuff to be far dancing around with shit that doesn't work. For Anne, we have the Natio Bronzer Enhancer. I will insert a side-by-side -side with what it looked like last month to what it looks like now. I'm pretty impressed with the progress we are making here. It's quite thin in a lot of areas as well. So that is really awesome. That, ah, I'm so happy with that product. Uh, uh, the Obscure... Um, pigment from Glamadol Eyes, um, I haven't actually reached for. Um, it is what it is. Uh, Periwinkle from Revlon for P. I'm actually wearing this today along with another blue that's a very similar colour. Um, <laughs> but you couldn't tell, really. Like, you can't tell. Uh, quicksand from um, Sally Hansen. Um, you can't, I've got a line on here, but I'm pretty sure that was from last time. That's like really, really thick. I actually wore this, um, I only just took it off my nail, like my thumbnail the other day. I actually wore this for like a couple of days, um, but the bottle is starting to widen out, which is like shortens the amount of progress it looks like you're making, but I know I've used it, so it just doesn't look like it. Uh, red flare, I didn't touch, I didn't do red nails at all, which is weird for me. Um, the Spear Eyeliner from Emmett, 
um, is almost at the point of needing a sharpen, so it's not going to look any different on my thing. Um, I did use it a couple of times. Okay, so here we have the True Blend Foundation, which uh, if you've been watching, you know I really don't like this stuff. I am wearing it today. I put it on differently today. I've been trying different ways of putting it on and not setting it or setting it very, very lightly because it tends to look a little shit if I put too much powder on it. But it settles into all of my lines on my forehead. I'm very expressive. I raise my eyebrows a lot. I do that kind of thing. I don't have Botox. So I have fairly deep lines in my forehead and it sinks into that really terribly and for some reason it doesn't like to stay on like right here and right here which is really really weird and it doesn't like to stay on my nose like even as soon as I put it on it's like separating on my nose which is really weird it's not my favorite from a distance it looks fine if you're up close it looks like shit or at least that's my opinion however in the last month I have used that much of it. Well, it's probably down a bit lower in there, like you can see it looks like it's down lower. But that's where the line on the side is, where it's sticking up on the sides. So um, I'm over halfway and much as I really don't like this foundation, there's really not a huge amount left in there. So this is going to be one of those ones where when it stops pumping out, like when I can't get the product to pump out. I'm not going to open the lid and start scraping the shit out. I'm just going to say I'm done with it and move on to something else. But I will keep on using it for now. The Urban Coral Nail Polish from Maybelline. I did use this. Um, I think it was only once, but it's, it's, it's enough for me to draw a new line. <laughs> They grow the teeny tiny bit of progress, but I did actually use it. I've actually been wearing lots of nail polishes that aren't in the projects. Yeah. The Vivid Violet um, Eyeliner from NYX uh, in, yeah, in Vivid Violet. I used it once. So it's, it's still going strong. It's... It's fine. It's just not something that I use very often, which is fine. I'm, I'm fine with that, actually. I don't have an issue. So, uh, The MAC Well-Dressed Blush. I don't think I'm actually that far from hitting pan. I'd like to think I'm not. Um, so, it's probably going to be really hard to tell, especially if it doesn't want to focus. But there's a really big dip over this side. Like, it's... So that side? Yeah, over here. There's a really big dent. And that's where I concentrate my brush. So I'm hoping maybe this month I will see pan, or at least get closer to pan or something. Um, I actually have to build this up quite a bit to make it show on my skin, which is really strange because I'm like super duper pale. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't show up great on my skin. Um, it's just fine. The OXX nail polish from Ulta 3 I did not actually touch. Um, and the Yodel Me on my cell I didn't touch either. So neither of those will be any different. And the Soft Matte Lip Cream, I think I wore it like twice during the month. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look any different either. So yeah, so that is my update for my A to Z project pan. As I said, everybody else will be linked down below if you want to go and check them all out. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, even if it takes me two weeks. I, I do my best. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.